Hello guys, today's video is is, is very unplanned. Uh, well, it's not actually a video, is it? But it's a it's a, a audio version. Um, we all know what what happened. What happened today? Uh, 25 years ago, or at least if you're a close follower of Formula One, you know that. It was the start of the of the Imola Grand Grand Prix weekend, nineteen ninety four, which started with um, with um, a massive accident by Barry Callow, um, but um, um, more more importantly. Um, the young Austrian uh, d um, driver, uh, rookie driver, um, uh, Roland Ratzenberger, uh, lost his life in his Simtech um, during qualifying and sadly died. Um, and uh, and I think that is. That is that was tragic enough, uh, especially because he he uh, really loved what he was doing and he really worked had to work extra hard and it was as I think it was only his was it his third um, yeah it would have been his his um, third Formula Formula One. Weekend, so I was I was very sad when I saw that all oh, 25 years ago. Um, um, oh, 25 years ago in front of the television. Um, but then we had um, also had um, Senna Senna lost. The, the the great Ayrton Senna lost his li his life um, on the, on Sunday the first of May, so um, which was av absolutely devastating for me as well, especially me being a, a, a young Formula One fan, um, you know, although um, I. I am. Um, I'm not too sure whether I would call him the greatest of all times, because um, it's very hard to uh, compare uh, Formula One, um, Formula One greats, um, in uh, from different decades. But he was definitely. He is definitely up there, and I, I, I wonder how, if Michael Schumacher would have managed to get uh, seven, seven World Championships, um, if Ayrton Senna would have lived. My guess is he he wouldn't have managed to do so, um, but that's not. Uh, the point of this video, the point is, um, to, my point is to actually, um, um, remember that it's only Formula One, it's only a race at the end of the day, and, uh, you know, it's only a racing series, and, you know, um, these were definitely... Uh, two two racing drivers that um were you know that were talented and uh, won at the peak of his career in Ayrton Senna and the other one um just um starting off in his career so um and tragically. Uh, was cut short, but always remember um, 
how precious life is, you know what I mean? And these guys um, loved what they what they was doing, and at least they died uh, uh, in the not the knowledge that they loved what they was doing. I know it's it's not uh, it's not a um, it's 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 not really comforting, but you know it can't bring them back. But we all have to remember that. So um, and uh, now let's. I I've got to tell you some emotional uh, good news of uh, you know I've got some emotional good good news yesterday that I received yesterday. I've been in the UK now for um, almost um, 21 years. In fact, on the 29th of May, it's going to be 20, 20, 20 years, um, sorry, 20 years on the 29th of May uh, 19, uh, that I, w I would have been in the UK for uh, 20 years. And yesterday, um, I was given, I was granted um, in indefinite leave to remain, indefinite right to remain in in the UK. So I'm absolutely emotional about that, and you know it made me cry yesterday, and and I, I just like to. Thank everyone that um, has supported me uh, while uh, building a life in in uh, the UK. I absolutely love every single one of you, and uh, um, I I know you know who you are. I won't mention any names, but I know that you know who you are. So. Uh, Thank you for that, and uh, I, I actually was a bit, uh, I was genuinely a bit worried about um, whether I was going to get um, um, indefinite right to remain in the UK uh, because uh, of, my, of my disability, uh, but... Uh, I'm really pleased and really, um, you know, I love the, I love this country, and uh, you know, um, I, I, I'm gonna die here when I'm older. So, thank you, for, thank you for for having me. <laughs> um, so, but I want to finish this video on, um, um you know. I, I want to finish this video just um, on the, the note that I the people have said to me um, that I don't um, like the uh, yeah. the British Formula One drivers, especially Lewis Hamilton, and I I just like to say that uh, I I've got nothing against Lewis Hamilton himself, uh, you know, because I, in previous videos I have said that, uh, that um, um, he has done some, some, uh, some very good things um, uh, for Terry and, and uh, for, for uh, people that had their last that uh, that were had really serious I I um, illnesses and things, but so I don't I I've never hated Louis Louis Hamilton or any Formula One um or any Formula One driver for that matter um but uh, I I've I I have gained a lot more respect. For Louis Hamilton now, than what I had um, during his earlier career, because some of the uh, things he said uh, to the media um, I didn't agree with. But I guess 
he was young and we all done mistakes. You know, we all said things that we shouldn't have said. So, uh, you know, just just want to make it clear that, uh, um, you know, just, um, you know, I I respect everybody, um, as you know, and then uh, cheers for listening, guys, and I I speak to you soon. Bye.